Hello everyone, it's Shannon with Shannon's Crafty DIYs. Welcome to my channel. So today is part two of my cross-border shopping haul. I just went recently to Watertown with my mom and we were able to go to Target. We were able to go to Hobby Lobby, which I always love going to. I went to the Dollar Tree, Dollar General, uh, Christmas tree shop that's in Watertown as well. Uh, yeah, so so many finds and I figured it'd be better to put it in two part or a two part video because it is quite long whenever we do go there it is a little bit further there's a few more stores more selection so I tend to spend a little bit more you guys know in my last video whenever I do go cross-border shopping I always bring just $200 cash on me um, that's my budget I never use debit credit nothing if I have $200 I know I won't go over um, and I will just definitely keep it under budget. So most of the time I do spend the 200 this time around, I only spent 150 us. Um, so I still had money coming back. Mind you, even, yeah, so the, actually the total, because you always have to give your total at the border when you go through, um, it was 150, um, but 30 of it was a gift to me because you guys know my mom gave me a, tar a $50 Target gift card at Christmas. So the Target um, items were all like a gift to me. So I was super excited to have those. I showed you guys that in the last video. I'll leave that, uh, that video in linked in the description box. So if you guys want to go take a look at that one as well. All right, guys, and you guys know before we get started, um, I would love if you guys could hit that subscribe button and just give me a big thumbs up just to uh, allow YouTube to know that you are liking this sort of content um, and that I would greatly appreciate it. Um, so today I have the rest of the Dollar Tree. I have the Christmas tree shop. I have Dollar General and Hobby Lobby. All right, guys, um, I'm going to start with, because I've got it on my lap right now, I'm going to just start with what I got from the Christmas tree shop. Everything was full price, but that is okay. Um, I still find things quite reasonably priced there. Um, I just picked up this for a dollar. Was it only, I think it was only a dollar 50. Um, it was just a cute little um, lunch bag. Well, it's, a, it's one of those shopping bags, but I like these specifically for my lunch bags. Um, so it is not super, super big, but it is, you know, wide enough at least for some sandwiches. Like right now, I'll show you. I actually have my little lunch bag that I'm currently using. Um, we are way past Christmas, but it says, Dear Santa, define good. So it's kind of the same size, but I think it's like a little bit this one looks a little bit uh well maybe they're the same size but i feel like this one is a little bit wider but anyway yeah i need i need a new bag uh yeah christmas is over and yeah but what i like about this one that one has like marshals on it everything this one doesn't have anything on the side so you don't know that it came from the christmas tree shop so i got that um what else oh and i picked up this I had I bought two the last time we went to Watertown, but I, I picked up two the same size and I love them both, but I was like, oh, every time I put them on my mantle, I'm like, I wish I bought the bigger one and the small instead of the two small. But I picked up another one of these for $7.99. I picked up a wooden candle stick. So I've got the smaller one as well. So I'm anxious to put that on my mantle with some candles, get a nice little Easter theme going as well. So yeah, I think these are absolutely beautiful. Um, yeah, love, love, love those. This was so stinking cute. Ah, I was I should have taken a picture of the other one. The other one was really, really cute too because it was like a little easel. Um, and I thought that'd be so fun to put at my coffee bar. But check this out for $8.99. It was a little bit more expensive, but so cute, so well made. Check this out. Fresh carrots. Cotton farms, 100% organic, locally grown. Oh my gosh, guys. And look, like they, they're elevated. They're like actually wood pieces on there as well. It is um, indented or it does have those little grooves in that shiplap look. Um, it is quite thick too. You guys know it is just the particle board or MDF board, whatever you want to call it. But this thing is quite well done. Um, yeah, I... Oh, like I said, that easel one was so cute as well. It had the carrots, but like the orange buffalo check, but it was just like a print. It wasn't like elevated like this, like the actual wood pieces on it. So I just thought this one was nice because it was more like 3D um, and I love the texture of it, but yeah. 
<laughs> putting this in one of those, you know, the Dollar Tree little picture frame plastic easel or those holders. Thought that would be great to put in our um, coffee bar kitchen area. So that's it for the Dollar General. Um, I'm just gonna show you what, oh, sorry, that was, sorry, that was the Dollar, <laughs> the Christmas tree shop. I'll just show you quickly what I got from the Dollar General. I picked up this. I actually love getting these. Um, I don't get them very often, but um, it's the Herde's Guacamole Salsa. This was $1.79, um, but this is actually super delicious with some tortillas, tortilla chips, make some nachos, put it on your with your cheese and salsa. Oh, yum, yum. So good. Um, I picked up this for $1.50. I thought, okay, you know what? Or So this one was $1.25. It's white chocolate, but it's strawberries and cream. And I just thought it was so stinking cute because it is a pink bunny. This was more for me and my little self-indulgence. So I wanted to give that a try. And then this guy is cheaper than the Dollar Tree. So remember that, go to Dollar General first because some things are still always just $1. So these $1 Sour Patch Kids, the bunnies, of course, you guys know, I get these specifically for my nephews. So yes, <laughs> a dollar each. And check this out, guys. For $5, this is going in my bathroom. I know exactly where I want to put it, but OMG, check that out. It They had the white, and they also had a sage green color as well. Super um, nautical, tropical, whatever you want to call it. It did. It was part of like that uh, nautical theme decor that's coming out right now at the Dollar General. But yeah, it's like the size of my head. So yeah, gorgeous. And it is tin or metal, whatever you want to call it. All right, so that is it for what I got at Dollar General. Um, let's go into Hobby Lobby. You guys know that all the spring decor was 40% off. I went the day before Valentine's and none of the Valentine's was cheaper than 40% off, which I was mind blown. But I'm happy to get the um, spring decor for at least 40% off since we made that trip out there. Guys, I keep looking online. I'm like, no, I don't need one. I, you know, and they've had them last year as well, but I did not get one. But for $9.99, so $5.99. So remember, guys, you guys do the math. Everything was 40% off. So it was $5.99, but I bought, I ended up buying one, a little ceramic um, bunny gumball machine. <laughs> You can't obviously use the machine itself, but you put your little candies in there, put it on your tear tray. Um, again, they had the white. I'm pretty sure they had the green as well or the blue. I can't remember now, but yeah, <laughs> so cute. Um, these, okay, I did buy them. They are cute. I was going to get the large ones as well, but $6.99 with 40% or and then marked down to 40% off you get a little six pack of the um, Buffalo check carrots. How cute. Oh my gosh, everything I got at Hobby Lobby was so stinking cute. Um, I picked up these, they're like in those little mini aisle um, or the craft aisle, but I picked up one for $2.99. I just picked up these little mini pastel eggs. So again, $1.99 with 40% off. Like those are really, really cute, just like that. Um, and then I also picked up this for $2.99, then another 40% off. Check out these cute little bunnies. They're actually like, they say, I think they are, yeah, bunny stickers. So they're like ceramic, but you could like stick them on to a surface. But yeah, those are so cute. Blue, green, yellow, and pink. And... Oh my gosh, this was in, yeah, this was in the spring. So $2.99 minus 40% off. I picked up two. I picked up one for my coworker as well. She loves doing her tear trays also. Look at this little, little mug. I love that. It's like one of those like little camper mugs, but yeah, so cute. Put a little, a couple little flowers in there. Put that on your tear tray. Oh, you guys know anything mini is super cute, right? This, okay, this for $2.99. All right, even $2.99 is super, like I think a great deal. It's like five bucks, but seriously for this, so $2.99, then another 40% taken off. The Candy Company Cotton Trail, oh my gosh. Cotton Tail, sorry, not trail. 
but OMG, perfect for a tear tray. You guys know at Christmas, I bought the gingerbread one, exactly the same size. Um, they had another one with the, the truck on there as well, with a little, like a blue truck, but I just thought this one was so cute. This was like more farmhouse to me. Oh, love that. <laughs> this was so cute. Everything I bought was small. <laughs> Um, but for $3.49 with another 40% off, check out this cute little cutting board. It is so cute. It's like wood engraved with some carrots. They had another one with a bunny on it as well. So I only saw two, one with carrots and one with the bunny, but that would be so cute to put on a tear tray. Like everything I got, I can easily put it all on a tear tray. Love, love, love that. Oh, and I just picked up just... I never go to their scrapbook paper aisle, but I was like, okay, I'm gonna check it out because I know some people haul them and way better selection than I'd find here in Michaels, but check this one out. This one was a dollar, but like, I love how, what is it like translucent? Um, like, look at that, you can see right through it. I love that, putting that in like a glass frame, just even like that, or one of your, you know how we always like to make those lanterns as well. <gasps> love, love, love that. And then I just picked up two of these for 15. I thought I only picked up one, but I think I, I was like, it felt thicker than I thought. But anyway, they were both 59 cents each, not a big deal. But I just picked up this with little bees on it. Um, yeah, <laughs> I thought that was great. <laughs> Um, yeah, so that is it for the Hobby Lobby. I'm just going to show you what I got at um, the Dollar Tree. I'm just going to put everything back in here just so I have some room on the counter. And okay, guys, Dollar Tree. I found three. I picked up the last three. Sorry, guys, but I picked up three more of these wood bead frames. I picked one up from where I went before, um, but it was like the square beads, but I absolutely love these. I actually made a wreath at Christmas and I actually sold it for quite a good amount of money. And uh, yeah, it was, uh, I'm going to try to make some Easter ones as well and see if I can sell some of these. <laughs> so exciting. Check this out. I actually wanted it for the Easter bunnies themselves, but every bunny welcome. I love that they have the little buffalo check bunnies on there. You can slide them off. You can actually take this off and use it as another garland. You can even put that garland around the edge of your tear tray as well, which I actually just saw that right now and I might do that. <laughs> so that is adorable. <laughs> and also, what else did we get in my bag of goodies? Okay, I'm just gonna show you these because these are for the boys again. For I, Craig's like, those kids' teeth are gonna rot because of you. But hey, <laughs> um, the Blow Pop Minis. Um, it is the, um, the Easter theme and it says a reusable pouch. So they can open and close these. I did drop them, so I hope they're not like, Two broken. I dropped one pack. They do feel okay. I can feel some maybe a little bit broken, but yeah, even this one kind of, but like even though I didn't drop this one, but yeah, picked up those dollar twenty-five each. Um okay, I I'm not gonna tell you exactly when I'm gonna go because I don't, you know, with safety reasons and whatnot, but okay, this is just TMI, but I, I bought this. <laughs> We are, we have a trip planned to um, the Dominican Republic. So I won't tell you when until after we get there and get home. Um, but I just picked up this because it's always good to keep these just in case. Never really have any issues anytime I've traveled, but I always like to have them on hand because it's been four winters that we haven't traveled the I just tossed all the other old medications. So this one is great. You get 12 capsules. Perfect, thank you. <laughs> you know, might not be for me. Maybe Craig might have some issues when we're away. Who knows? <laughs> um, what else? Yeah, we're gonna do all the Easter stuff too in just a second. Oh, I picked up this Bolero, the body wash. It is the fresh watermelon and rose. No, or um, sorry guys, my the lighting in here is bad. Okay, and aloe. Look at that, that is super cute packaging. They had another like a couple ones, different scents, 
can't remember what the other ones were, but this is so fun. These are great for little gift baskets. Again, Easter's coming around, Mother's Day is coming around, even Father's Day you can still do that for your dad. I bought this because I saw Bargain Bethany use this as like a tip and trick. It is just these little, um, what are they called? the multi-purpose uh, latches. So like, they're like those little plastic things. So our, we have a green bin for like um, composting and whatnot, but the black handle totally broke off maybe when the garbage truck went by or something like that. But she had a good point. She's like, you can literally stick this on both top lid and bucket and it'll help to close everything in. Wintertime, not a big deal, but in the summer, you know, you get the raccoons and whatnot going into the garbages. So I just thought, you know what, I will, put that on our recycling bin. <laughs> um, and then, oh my gosh, I found these. They weren't at the store last time I went, but they've been around for a little while now, but I picked up these little mesh ribbons. You guys know they've been around for a little while. They have more of a light beige and a darker beige one as well. So there's four different colors, but these are excellent. I picked up a green because it looks like grass and I thought for spring it would be perfect. So yeah. <laughs> I just picked one more of these, the Family Care Nasal Relief. Craig has his allergies every year, almost seems like every uh, or daily all year round, but I picked up one of those. He seems to like those, so. Uh, and last few items, look at this guys. I thought these were great. Four, you get four egg picks. They only have the green from what was at the store so far, but yeah. Those are cute. I can actually put those in some plants or yeah, even real plants, guys, too, just to decorate those. Yeah, love that. Pick up some cute little bunny butts. You get six in the pack. They also had the blue ones as well, or sorry, with a blue paws as well. Got that. <laughs> And oh my gosh, I picked up these six pieces as well. The um, felt fabric gingham with bow, little bunnies. They had the purple one and blue as well. <laughs> and oh, and they're also just plain on the other side too, so you can reverse them too if you wanted. I picked up a couple, or this was like a three pack of the moss bunnies just to throw on your tear tray. And, oh, I picked up this. It was in the spring aisle, but the wood picks. I just like that little plant. You could use like this side or, I mean, I wasn't a fan or fond of like these little pieces. So I might just use my blow dryer and try to remove those gently. And you can use those for other little DIYs. Those look like leaves too. So you could put those in some other crafting um, ideas. And two more things, guys, two more things. I found these, the Craft Wood 3D Bees. You get 12 in there. So cute. And I also got this 12-piece bunnies with the actual little pom-pom tail. Oh my gosh, guys, so cute. They are the exact same size as this, I think. Maybe a little bit smaller. Yeah, maybe a little bit smaller, but yeah. <laughs> but still, so cute. Great for some DIYs. All right, guys, that is seriously all I got. This is the haul. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, I hope you guys can make it out to Target, um, Dollar General. I loved the Christmas tree shop as well. Hobby Lobby, thank you. We might go again after Easter. Like I'm gonna wait till after Easter this time around, but we'll see. I don't know when I will go to Watertown again, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and just give me a big thumbs up. I would love you guys forever. That's it, have a wonderful day. We'll see you guys later.